Airdrops are one of the fastest ways to start making money with crypto. Imagine waking up to thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars in your wallet just for being an early adopter of new technology. Well, that's happening all the time with airdrops in 2024 right now. And one of the hottest ecosystems for doing this is the Celestia ecosystem. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to earn passive income with Celestia airdrops step-by-step step in 2024. I'm gonna talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself and a multi-time airdrop recipient to the tune of five figures or more. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while airdrops are a great way to make some extra money in the crypto space, the best way to make life-changing money is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash camp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to make passive income with Celestia airdrops in 2024. So like I always have to say in these videos, obviously nothing I'm saying in these videos is going to be financial advice. I'm not encouraging you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. Cryptocurrency always has risks associated with it, and you should consult your financial advisor before purchasing any. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Like what even is Celestia in the first place? And this is really important because a lot of times people get into crypto and start using stuff and they don't even understand what it does. Well, I made a video about Celestia when it launched towards the end of last year and how it's going to be a game changer. And so far, that prediction has come true. And I expect this ecosystem to become one of the top performers in the next crypto expansion. But what exactly is it and what does it do? Well, Celestia describes themselves as the first modular blockchain network. So what does that mean and what problem does it solve? Well, one of the biggest problems with blockchain is scaling. People complain about blockchains like Ethereum all the time for being too slow and too expensive to use. Basically, the gas fees are really high and it takes long times for your transactions to actually go through. And that's really what scaling is all about. And Celestia is one of the first to take a novel approach to this. And if you want the sort of explain it like I'm five uh, description, then it looks like this. Basically, Celestia lets you create what I call a super chain. All right. So I made this up. But basically, you can match up a bunch of different blockchains and get the best of both worlds. So let's say you like the speed of Solana, okay, but you like the security of something like Ethereum. Well, you can sort of mix and match with those with the Celestia to create this super chain that tries to get the best of both worlds. And so that's how the Celestia network works. But what about the TIA token? All right, well, this is the uh, native cryptocurrency of the Celestia ecosystem. And that's the one that you're going to be using for airdrops. So it's important to understand how this thing works. Because, you know, TIA is the native token of the Celestia ecosystem, and it is a staking token. So what does that mean? Well, basically, you can take your TIA tokens and stake them natively on the network to help secure Celestia, and then you're going to earn a passive income reward as yield for doing this. Basically, you get a percentage of the same cryptocurrency of TIA tokens, you know, paid out on a regular basis, uh, just like you would get interest paid out into your bank account. Now, that's nice, but on top of this, uh, basically, it can help qualify you for a bunch of different airdrops. So let's talk about the airdrop strategy, and we'll talk about how to qualify for those step by step. All right, so now let's talk about how the airdrops work. So I made a video in January talking about the ultimate airdrop playbook for 2024. And in that video, I talked about how the playbook has kind of changed, all right? So basically, in the past, a lot of what was happening is airdrops were going to early adopters of new technology who were using it a lot on a regular basis. Uh, for performing actions on blockchains or with applications and then getting retroactively rewarded tokens for doing that. So basically, if you wanted to get an airdrop, uh, you had to bridge over to a network and start making a bunch of transactions. And you had to do this every single day, perhaps, in order to qualify. So not really passive income, all right? But Celestia is different, okay? So basically, because it's part of the Cosmos ecosystem, there's a bunch of different apps that are launching as a part of this ecosystem, and many of them are choosing to airdrop their new cryptocurrencies to Celestia or TIA token stakers, okay? Some notable examples for early 2024 are like Saga, all right, and then also Dimension. So the cool thing about this airdrop strategy is all you have to do in many cases is just hold the Celestia tokens or the TIA tokens on the Celestia network and then stake them, okay, and then you can qualify for multiple airdrops 100% passively. You can see all this stuff that's interconnected as a part of this Cosmos ecosystem. And what makes the strategy so killer is you don't have to do anything after you stake, okay? It's truly passive. And you can kill multiple birds with one stone because you could qualify for potentially dozens of airdrops with this one strategy. It's massive leverage. So how do you do this step by step? All right, so step number one is you first and foremost have to purchase some TIA tokens. 
Now, again, at the beginning of this video, I was saying this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you or encouraging you to buy any specific cryptocurrency in this video. You should never bet your life savings and something like this. And you should always check in with a financial advisor before you use cryptocurrencies. Uh, but if you want to, then you have a couple different options to purchase your TIA tokens. So one is to basically register for a centralized exchange that purchases, uh, excuse me, that supports the purchase and sale of Celestia tokens and also withdraws. That's important. Okay. Uh, but you may not want to register for a new exchange. It's not really on a lot of the major exchanges right now. So what you can do instead, if you're already registered for a website like Binance or Coinbase, or maybe Kraken, and if they don't support Celestia at the time of this video, then what you can do is you can actually purchase Atom tokens, okay? And you can purchase Atom tokens and withdraw those, and then you can swap them on chain for Celestia tokens and then bridge those over to the Celestia network, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. So if you want to do that, then you can do that on a website like Osmosis, okay? So Osmosis is going to be where you can bridge your tokens over from Atom, swap them to uh, TIA tokens, and then bridge them into the uh, Celestia networks. So you can start staking them, and I'll talk about that how to do that here in a minute. All right, so the next step is that you need a wallet in order to do this. Now, unfortunately, if you've been a blockchain user, and you've used something like MetaMask or Phantom, uh, you're not gonna be able to do that with this wallet, okay? So you're gonna have to install a new one. Uh, so Kepler is by far the most popular option for doing this. So it works a lot like MetaMask. You can basically go to Kepler.app. You can just you know do install Kepler. It'll basically install a new browser extension for you just like MetaMask. It'll sit there and live in your uh, system tray. And then you can uh, start, you know, create a new wallet and then signing transactions and holding the cryptocurrency inside of it, just like you would with MetaMask. Now, once you do that, it's time to start staking your TIA tokens. Um, so how do you do that? Well, basically, if you're on the Kepler website already, you can just go to the dashboard, okay, and you click launch dashboard. And that's going to take you to an area where you can actually stake your TIA tokens. And if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to do this, uh, Coinbase has actually published a really good one on their Coinbase cloud documentation. So basically, um, it, you have already done the steps that I talked about, which is creating a new wallet. But you want to go to the dashboard, okay? You know, they're wanting you to select Coinbase uh, as their validator, you know, in order to be the delegator. That's totally fine, okay? But basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this staking tab, all right? You click on that. You click on the stake button. All right. That's this right here. And then whenever you do that, of course, you can choose the Coinbase validator that they want you to. That's fine. Uh, click on that there. Again, it's not a sponsor video or anything. I'm just showing the documentation. You can enter in the amount of desired TIA that you want to stake. You click the stake button. If all looks correct, then you're going to confirm the transaction inside of your wallet. And then boom, you are now staking your TIA tokens and you're earning passive income and you're qualifying for these airdrops. Now, I'm going to show you to track your airdrops here in a minute, but I want to answer a really quick frequently asked question that I get all the time, which is basically, you know, how, you know, should I be splitting this up across multiple wallets to get more airdrop money? Or, you know, if I stake more tokens, will I get more uh, tokens from an airdrop? So first, let's talk about, you know, you, you're likely going to get more money the more you stake on a single wallet, all right? So if your wallet's balance is bigger on a single wallet, that single wallet is probably going to get more uh, from whatever airdrop that happens. However, that usually goes up to a point, all right? And if you max out whatever that limit is, the additional amount that you stake on that wallet is probably not going to matter that much. So it might make sense to, to break them up only if you're staking a lot cryptocurrency. I know there's some whales out there who might be watching this video. Maybe that applies to you. But for the vast majority of people, you're probably not going to get additional stuff. Uh, this is just my guess for breaking your stuff up from multiple wallets. Part of the staking strategy is to try to keep bot activity down. You got to be able to fund your wallet with a reasonable amount. All right. So now let's talk about how to keep track of your airdrops. Okay. Because once you staked, you're actually going to have to claim the airdrops once you're eligible for them. They're not just going to magically appear in your wallet. Sometimes it's a little confusing. They think airdrop, like it's just going to show up. But no, you actually have to take one simple action to claim them. So how can you keep track of this? Well, you can go to a website like airdrops.one, okay? You can see lots of different airdrops uh, listed here. But if you see the Celestia icon, okay, like Milky Way, you can click on that and it will uh, basically show you all the other airdrops that are associated with this, okay? It's so like the dimension one is the one that I mentioned earlier. So basically, you can see the claim date here uh, was, you know, January 1st, sorry, January 2nd, 2024. And so you need to keep track of these deadlines because you need to claim your tokens 
you know, within these deadlines so that you don't miss out and the airdrop rewards are distributed back to other people. All right, so that's an overview of how to make passive income with Celestia token staking in 2024 and how to do it step by step. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you know, while airdrops are a great way to make some extra money in the crypto space, the best way to make long-term life-changing money is to change your career, double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. It's one of the highest paying fields in tech. It can seriously solve your cash flow problem. It can really help you get an edge in the crypto space. So I can show you how to do that step-by-step step, start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Diversity.